Hey guys, happy to see you on Android Tech Park. In this video, we are going to see how to fix the error, unable to verify the printer on your network, on Mac. Many Apple users said that, this error occurs when they try to add the printer to their Mac. This is not the biggest issue as you all think. Here you can find some simple troubleshooting procedures to fix this issue. First solution is, change the protocol. First, click cancel in the pop-up menu. Then click the protocol drop-down menu. Select HP JetDirect socket. After that, click add at the bottom right corner of the screen. Second solution is, restart your Mac and printer. First restart your Mac. Then restart your printer. After that, add the printer to your Mac. Third solution is, restart your Mac in safe mode. If you are using a Mac with Intel processor, first shut down your Mac via Apple menu. Then press the power button or touch ID to turn on your Mac. After pressing the power button or touch ID, immediately hold down the shift key until the login window appears. While holding the shift key, Apple logo will appear. But don't leave the shift key, when you see the Apple logo. Keep holding it, until the login window appears. If your Mac is encrypted with FileVault, you need to log in twice. Then select your user account, and enter the password. After that, click the Apple icon at the top left corner of the screen. Here select Restart under Apple menu. Again select Restart in the pop-up box to confirm. Wait until your Mac restarts, and then add the printer. If you are using a Mac with Apple Silicon, first shut down your Mac. After your Mac shuts down, wait for about 10 seconds. Then hold down the power button or touch ID until the startup options window appears. Now you can see available startup disks and options. Select your startup disk. Then hold down the shift key, and click continue. Then click continue in safe mode. Now release the shift key. Wait until your Mac restarts. Then restart your Mac via Apple menu. After trying these solutions, let me know which one has worked for you. If you know any other solutions to fix this issue, let me know through your comments.